Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're adding a basic jump mechanic to our FPS controller state machine. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub. And if you would like to use the written version of this tutorial or download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. For this episode, we're going to create our new jump state script and setup. Our actual jump mechanic will be pretty basic for now. If you've stumbled on this episode and haven't done any states or state machine, go check out the beginning of the state machine episodes in the playlist. We'll get to a more advanced jump animation in the next episode, and beyond that, we'll add a double jump and more unique jump mechanics later on. To get started, we need to add another child node to our state machine for our jump player state. So let's add our child node and attach a new script, jumping player state, that extends our player movement state script. Like our other states, we'll define our class and set our export variables, speed, acceleration, and deceleration. Then two new export variables, one to control our jump velocity force and another to control our input amount when in the air. I've named mine jump velocity and input multiplier. Then in our enter function, which runs when we enter our state, we add our jump velocity to the Y of our player's velocity. This will give us an upward push. We'll also pause any animations that we might be in. For now, we won't add an animation to our jump, but we're gonna be adding one later on, so we'll touch on that in the future. Then in our update function, we run our gravity function, input function, and velocity function with a slight change to our input function. We might play with this more in the future, but we don't necessarily want the player to move all around while in the air, but we do want some control. You could comment this out completely and the player will just jump in whatever direction they start in and won't be able to adjust till they land. This may be realistic physically, but games tend to allow the player to adjust mid-air. So we multiply the speed value by our input multiplier variable, and you can adjust that variable to your needs. The goal here is to allow the player to move while in the air, but at a less amount than if they were on the ground. Then to transition out of our jumping state, we do an if check for when the player is back on the floor, then transition back to idle, which can properly adjust to walking, sprinting, or whatever within one frame. To get to the jumping state, we need to add some transitions to our other states. Within our idle, walking, sprinting, and honestly even crouching if you want, we need to add this if check for a new jump input. You can create this new input map in the project settings, so go do that before we move on. We'll also check if our player is on the floor. If true, then we transition to our jump. Finally, jump will bring us up, but we need gravity to bring us back down. Gato typically ships with a default gravity setting of 9.8 to reflect natural physics properties. This works fine, but honestly, it does seem a little slow for my taste, so I've adjusted my gravity in my player script to 12 and I kind of like it a little bit better. Again, adjust to your liking for the needs of your game. You should now have a basic jump for your FPS character, and you can adjust the jump velocity settings to make it a smaller or bigger jump. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider a like and subscribe to the channel as we're gonna be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the written tutorials and the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.